Taurus. Welcome to your weekly reading for December 20th. Please show me what Taurus needs to know here or see. Thank you. And here is your first card. I hope everyone's doing great today. All right. Well, we'll we're starting right off with the devil in the reverse. Well, that's good. I like it when he's in the reverse. This means some kind of toxic bond is losing its intensity. Um, you could be losing attraction for something that wasn't good for you, giving up an addiction. Something negative is reducing its hold on you or you're just walking away or they're walking away. This could be a Capricorn as well. In your how, you have the Four of Swords in the reverse. So this is being alone. This is in your thoughts. This is thinking. And in this position, it's saving money. So because you have detached yourself from this influence, you could be saving money because of it, just by doing that, just by this is going off on your own, staying away from this. You could have blocked somebody, but you're not speaking to them. You're being very quiet. You're saving money. And it's like it's just fading away. In your why, you have the nine of cups in the upright. You are feeling victorious. You, um, you're going after your dream. This means you're going to get it. This is your dream card. Um, you're doing what makes you happy. You're following your heart. So you've kicked this to the curb. You're in transition. You're just looking after yourself, um, figuring out your next move, saving money again, and you're doing really well. In how you're going to feel, you have the Knight of Wands in the reverse, walking away. This is you walking away, you're facing the world, you are going after your passions, you want to do things that get your adrenaline going. Um, this is someone that comes and goes, this is an adventurer. I see right now you're still in the process of kicking this influence out, whether it's a person or a thing, and but you're, you're already dreaming about your future. You're going towards your passions. You're going towards things that are fun, um, could even be physical exploits like um, running or yoga or being more sociable. Just you're really getting out there. Or actually, you're planning on it. You're, you're visualizing it. You want to make your dream come true. I really get the feeling that you're not counting on anyone to do it for you. You're going to do it alone with your heart, with all of your heart and with all of your passion. This is great. All right, let's see what your advice is. Three of swords in the reverse. This is past heartbreak. This is feeling detached. Wow, detachment right beside solitude. So your advice is definitely to keep doing it alone, keep doing it on your own. This is also reaching clarity. Right now, it's more detachment. In the future, it's clarity. So the detachment is going to give you clarity and more time to think. This is lots of thinking. This is thinking on top of thinking. But like um, meditative thinking, not ruminating, not going over it again and again and again. It's like when a thought pops in your head, like say it's, to do with a toxic person. This could be a narcissist um, or some kind of, it could just be the bottle. Um, I'm getting the feeling that when you think about something and if you trigger, you process it and you let it go. So the more you do it, the less there is in there to trigger you. So you're just getting clearer and clearer because I see clarity in your future for sure. All right, bottom of the deck. Wow, okay. Five of coins in the upright, in the other woman position, which is beside insincere people. So you're detaching from that position. If you've been in that position, you're detaching from that position. If you're a man and you're, on, you're, 
you're ending that cycle in your life. You're being alone with your thoughts. Um, you're going to feel a little bit out of sorts. I'm picking up on like withdrawal symptoms from this, whatever, this is an escape. This is, this is always a toxic escape and it's in the reverse. So you are leaving it. You are leaving whatever it was. You're detaching and you're feeling a little bit left out. You're feeling a little bit, um, also you've got the saving money card and this can also be feeling a little broke. So you're going through a process, you're going after your, your dream, you're sticking to your plan and to your heart. This is just part of the process. You are going to get clearer, but you still have this disorder card beside it. So it's, it's a bit of a long process, but it's getting better and you're, you're holding on to your dreams. You're following your passions. You're going to be fine. It's just a little, a little dip right now. It's just part of the process. And this is also getting smarter. Well, that's what I've got for you, Taurus. All right, your shuffle song is called Daytime, Nighttime, and it's by Tristis, oh my, um, Contemporaire, no, Contemporane. I'll write it down. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.